Hi guys, so in this video I'm gonna show you how some inspiration and ideas of a few recipes that you can do for a meal prep. Uh, this is just the things that I love to eat and normally now with this guy here uh, I don't I don't get the time to you know have the time to make the meal and make the most healthy or nutritious meal because the sooner I finish feeding him even though he's doing the baby linguine, he's also having puree. So it takes time. When I finish feeding him, I'm starving. And normally I just open the fridge and grab whatever is faster. I want to prioritize the time that I spend with him. So this really helps me to uh, stay on the healthy track and to have meals already pre-made or made for me it's so easy i can put them all together put it in the microwave and eat and get going with my life so i hope this inspire you to get ready for the week with a meal prep and i hope you enjoy so i will see you soon So I'm starting my breakfast with some old-fashioned oats. I mix it so it's ready to go. Oats are so healthy for you. They're full of antioxidants. They help with your digestion system and also they are delicious. And you can do any mix you want. You can add fruit, you can add syrup, whatever you want. So here I'm adding some chia seeds. Chia seeds are healthy source of of vitamins and minerals and also flax seeds are full of fat acid like good fat and omega-3 which is amazing for the body so here I'm mixing it in the jar so in the morning if I want to make myself some oats I can just grab put something in a bowl and it's ready to go also I, I love to add to my oats sometimes I like to add chocolate peanut butter this is the dry version. Sometimes I add regular peanut butter, but this is just when I want to cut on the fat. And then I still want to have like the flavor of peanut butter, but not the fat. And also, uh, maca powder is one of the superfoods that I add to my almond milk. And also, I can mix it with my Greek yogurt. I've tried, in this case, I have no fat, but you can make it with full fat. This is um, a mix of uh, dry uh, nuts, and it's like a healthy, it's a healthy granola that I got on Aldi. Uh, also, if I want to add an extra, I have more here. This is fresh, sweet Italian uh, turkey sauce. Um, this is an excellent source of protein, and you have no preservatives or you no know, hormones, so it's a very clean meat. So I'm just putting like the entire piece um, on the on the air fryer. I recently got my air fryer from Target. I got it on sale, and it's been amazing. Uh, I love this air fryer. It doesn't. It's so fast and quick, and you don't have to add um, any oils if you want to fry it. And the meat, whatever you put inside, come crispy. And the most important thing is super super fast so I love my air fryer so much while the turkey sauce is not cooking in the fryer I'm just gonna fry pan uh, onions and I'm using Miss, Mrs. Dash uh, everything is spice Mrs. Dash is very helpful for you it's salt free so I just have some ground turkey I mix a Mrs. Dash with the with onions and I don't know if I'm gonna add later on tomato Paste, maybe I will. So to add more flavor, I'm gonna put a splash of Himalaya salt. Himalaya salt is one of the superfood also, and it's it have so apparently Himalaya salt is they have 11 nutrients that other salt they don't have. Also, I have some macaroon lentil. It sounds a little weird, but it's pretty tasty. It's a red and white quinoa um, macaroni. So it's like a you can make with this like a healthier version of mac and cheese, I guess. 
and also um, on the side I'm boiling some hard eggs this is so good to add on salads or to add to the pasta like a cold pasta I also have asparagus I have mushrooms and tomatoes which I'm gonna cut them off and so when I if I want to put them in the oven if I want to fry pan they are mixed also I'm gonna add you can see here that I added some onions just to add a flavor and I put it in different containers so they are ready to they're cut and it's you know I don't have to like cut them and put it uh, in the pan I can just uh, fry them or or make it with mix it also with the pasta and make like a mix of uh, veggies here I give him Logan some of them and you can see he's like the messy <laughs> the mess is everywhere also I'm cutting some cherry tomatoes that I'm gonna put in this cute in a container that I don't remember where I got it I think I got it at Walmart but it's like a huge plastic tomato but the good thing about this container is that it's it's still in a way that the, but the tomatoes they last longer so yes so I quickly <laughs> Took this guy to a bath, so he's playing out in the living room with that cute face. And now I have everything almost done. So I have the, um, the macaroon pasta, the quinoa pasta, and it's little pieces. And also I make quinoa on the side. This is the ground turkey, which I end up not adding the tomato sauce, but you can add tomato sauce. And I'm thinking that I can mix it with the quinoa also, all the pasta, it goes with pretty much everything. This is the veggies uh, already cut that I'm gonna put on the side. And probably I'm gonna fry pan some of them now because they look very tasty. And... So the mushrooms, they come already cut. I took a few of them. And also I cut some onions because yes, I'm a little bit lazy. <laughs> Don't want to it's just for today and maybe for tomorrow because I'm thinking of and, uh, chicken. I like to add a lot of um, onions. Also, please camera focus. Um, this tuna, I always buy my tuna in olive oil. I don't like it in water for me, it doesn't have any taste. And then also I bought avocado. Avocados are so handy, you can add it to pretty much anything. Logan loves them. I have some baby spinach that I can add to smoothies and also to the salad on the side. And I always buy this Caesar salad kit that my family loves. It's not the super healthy one and the most nutrition because iceberg lettuce really doesn't have that much, it's just water. But while well, my family loves it, I also have some um, mix of frozen veggies that I like to add to the quinoa or to pretty much anything. I just put it in the microwave and they boil. And yes, yeah, so a combination that I can make in the future. I have tuna that I can add to the salad and also I have the tzatziki with Greek yogurt, spinach, artichoke. Um, I love to add tzatziki. Tzatziki is such a healthy, uh, like creamy cream that you can add pretty much anything. In my case, I'm gonna make like a cold pasta and add it with a tuna and probably I'm gonna add some tomatoes. I don't know. You can get so creative with this. This is a sausage, the, the turkey sausage that I showed you before. Look how crispy. They look so tasty. Also, I always have uh, fries, some rice cauliflower fries, fries. Oh my god, frozen rice cauliflower, sorry. And I never had this before actually. Uh, I just bought it and I want to give it a try. And also I, will, I always have like steamed broccoli. Sometimes I buy like like broccoli normally but it tends to get bad so easy, so fast so I'd rather have it frozen. Also, I have this um, beer bottle called filet, which is like a fish um, fish filet. And I pop this in the air fryer and it's amazing. I tried it the other day and we loved it. And yeah, so I can have this with anything. Also, I want to quick show you 
all, all the frozen items that I buy that the combination is endless so I have the mixy veggies that I have, uh, have frozen corn that I can make uh, with I can add it to the salad too and some peas that I boil for Logan uh, this is a mix of carrots cauliflower and broccoli this is just a quick steam the it's just I really want to have things that are simple to make and they add volume and also I love to buy this green smoothie blend which is it comes every year they made it gives you like three smoothies and they have like a bunch of fruit like and mixed with um, spinach because spinach gets to tend to get bad so so fast so I like to have some frozen and this is so simple it's already made for you you just add the mix and you blend it and the result it looks exactly like the picture I know it's kind of like weird and green but it's so tasty and it actually tastes very sweet I add sometimes I add um, protein powder like um, vanilla so it actually this is like my dessert this is the vanilla bean uh, low fat ice cream from the brown sunday and it has 240 calories and 20 grams of protein yes ice cream can take can taste good and also have protein so i buy the vanilla one and i also buy the chocolate one it's also the same amount uh, well this one has 280 calories and 24 grams of protein and it, it's just you know something when i have my sweet tooth and something that i love and is my uh, premier protein this is a new flavor cookies and cream and this is this i love it i just grab it and put it in my bag and also the peach and cream flavor is to die for it. guys you need to try this it's so good um and one other dessert that i love to do and like because it's so hot here in florida is the gelatin snack i know i have a few grams of sugar but it's I love it. I just love it and I have it all the time. Also as a side a snack, uh, I love my pistachio. Normally I like it uh, roasted with sea salt. I don't like the plain. And uh, for me when I have the craving for chips, this is what I gravitate to and it really kills that craving of the chips. And my absolute love is um, the supreme dark chocolate from Lean. This is 90%. I never thought that I would go to 90%, but I actually love it. And I also enjoy having some tea. And this week I'm gonna have the Peach Detox, which supports uh, health overall and, and the liver. And the Kava Stress Relief. So I'm gonna have one in the morning and one at night time. So oh, guy, this is a uh, quickie I want to show you what I'm going to eat today for lunch and I just want you to see how uh, amazing it looks. And, so guys, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did, as much as we did. Uh, this last meal that I showed you was amazing, it was so tasty and you can see how easy it is to make and with the right tools. Okay. So with the right with the right tools you can make this meal prep. Of course, you can always um, make it as you like or add the ingredients or the spices that you love. Uh, for me this is very simple and easy to do. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video. Please do not forget to subscribe and give it a like because it really support my upgrowing channel. And if you hit the notification button, then you're gonna be notified every time I upload a video. And you can see this cute guy that normally sees in every of my videos. So, see you soon. We will see you soon. Bye.